it was Father Murphy who was in charge of sports in St. Augustine's. Uh, he was the coach. But when when Goff came over, Gip, Gip, Goff took over the sporting portfolio from Father Murphy. I think he came in, is it 1974 or 73, something like 74. I was in the school junior school, I was in the general team. And he started having programs that every, when school opens, October, we used to have a league. Mm -hmm. Matches Amel, Bin Gambe High School, Muslim High School, uh, Nusra, the four of us competition at the school ground there. So he developed the school club. He had interest in it. And also, he was the one that uh, introduced rugby to me. By then, we were big guys myself Omar Fai, Malewada, Ponjai. He took us to rugby. We started playing rugby in 1980. Mm -hmm. But yet, we, we are playing football. See, so he did a lot. I mean, then we, uh, young Africans, were handed over to him. We took up Young Africans again, then we got in the league. But by then, I think we were winning most of the school competition. Saint was winning it. I think we only lost in our final year, that was 1977, when we played against Nusra, mm. who beat us last, let's say, 3 1 or whatever you call that. Oh. Yeah, so that was the match that we lost again. That really made Goff to be really mad. Afterwards, as I said, he took over Young Africans, and Young Africans was doing fine. He really helped. Wow. He really pushed uh, the other clubs also. So that was why, as I said, people like, uh, they always have coalition with Abu Dan, people like uh, Obi Konate, Usain Njai, Ox. So he was very competitive by then, and as I said, that's why he brought all this guy, Malewada. Malewada actually was not from, he's not an original member of Young Africans. Male was brought up by Real when we started from Young Africans. He came after and joined the team when Goff was really in charge. You have Dudusen, Abu Allen, all those guys before Young Africans. He really changed the landscape because he brought it to be more competitive. She had a school program. He wasn't really trying to say it in a more school program and bring more school international. He played a great role in that area. Father Joseph Goff was a great man and was a father to many. He's done a lot of things for many people. He's changed many lives. He was an extraordinary philanthropist who shared with everybody um, his commitment to the development of Gambian education and sports in general, I think, is seen everywhere during the time when he was principal of St. Augustine's from 1978 to 1983. He had turned that institution to a mecca of academic and sports excellence. Um, he ran Young Africans, Roots, Saints Volleyball, Saints Basketball, and Track and Field also. Um, schools exchanges with uh, counterparts in Dakar and um, a decoration from the Senegalese government as the pioneer of Senegambian school exchange programs. You know, I can't sit here and talk about Father Goff, really. If you look at what he has done, the lives that he has transformed, the many great athletes he has brought up as his core by Malewada, Shaman Fai, Gabinda, Jerry Gomez, Boy Barunyang, Louis Top, Mbai Cham, Usman Jata, Paul Sar, Ebemo, Munir Alami, Baba Jara, Boritaal, Ibu Konate, Abdurrahman Jala Oil, Kemo Fatajo, Abdullah Bari. I can go on and on and on. And in all these lives, he was in it. Father molded them not just to be athletes, but also to be responsible citizens. Personally, I mean, he pushed me to be the best journalist I can be.